Greetings, my name is Eden Skye, and for the past 27 years I have been publishing Galactic Calendars, and I want to share with all of you today about the energies of the upcoming Galactic New Year that we will be entering on July 26, 2022. So in this galactic calendar system, every year brings a specific galactic frequency and it brings specific code words and keys for us to focus on for the year. So on July 26, 2022, we will be entering the red self-existing moon year. This is the new galactic calendar. So the code words for this galactic frequency include purification, flow, universal waters, self-remembrance, definition, measuring, and form. So put succinctly, the energies of this galactic year are inviting us to surf the waves of life, to go with the flow as it is, as it unfolds, moment by moment, while simultaneously paying close attention to being deliberate and discerning in our actions and our intentions. So the self-existing tone of this year is calling us to be measured, methodical, grounded. And the red moon glyph of this year is also calling us to be now-centered, non-linear, intuitive, fluid, sensitive, receptive, adaptable, to honor the universal waters the presence of the divine feminine force of nature as it lives inside of our very beingness. So the code of purification is inviting us to open our bodies, minds, emotions, hearts, spirits, to really receive this next level multi-dimensional purification that is now flowing through the earth flowing through the universe. Indeed, no creatures on this earth are outside of this potent time of purification that we are in. So this is the time to look at our lives and ask ourselves what wants to change so that we can experience greater health, well-being, alignment, freedom, wholeness in our lives. It's a time to look at our daily routines, at our habits, at our lifestyles, at our beliefs, at our perceptions, and ask ourselves, where can we purify to align with greater health? So we know that our bodies are temples, that they are creative instruments of the divine. We know that our bodies are vehicles of our spirits. We also know that our health is a whole systems dance between our bodies, our minds, our emotions, our spirits. So this is the time to really look at our whole system's health and see what changes do we need to make. And it could be small adjustments, it could be big changes. We are also being invited to comprehend the creative power of our definition, the way we define ourselves, the way we define each other, the way we define this world, has a direct impact on how we perceive and therefore on how we experience our reality internally and externally. So the tone of this year is really calling us to get grounded to get specific, to get clear, to pay attention to the foundational details of our life and to ask ourselves, what changes do we need to make to experience greater coherency, greater clarity, stronger foundation in our lives so we can really show up for these times on earth? The code of self-remembrance is inviting us to remember who we are as multidimensional, limitless beings 
living inside of a multi-dimensional, limitless universe. May we remember who we are in our humility, in our nobility, in our innocence as evolving children of this divine universe. May we remember who we are in our essence self, in our wholeness, in our heart's purity, in our unique creative capacities to give our gifts. May we remember our sacred roles as co-dreamers of this world. All of us, we have infinite capacities to be channels and instruments of amazing positive transformation, of transmutation, of universal unconditional love, of healing, acceptance, forgiveness, compassion, kindness, wisdom, beauty, art, creativity of all kinds, magic. We have incredible capacities to uplift this world and shine our light, to shine the light of our hearts. Let's bless ourselves and bless this world by also accepting what is as it is. One of the things I have learned in contemplating flow and purification and contemplating my own soul struggles and the soul struggles of those around me and the collective struggles we are facing as a humanity on this planet is that when I accept what is as it is, it connects me into my heart. I have learned that acceptance is not necessarily a passive state, that rather it is a higher vibration than resistance. So when I enter into a space of acceptance, I can then and drop into that in my heart, I can then ask myself, do I have a response? Do I have an inspired action that wants to come through me? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. But I might discover a higher perspective on the circumstances that then I get to energize. So last but not least, the red self-existing moon year galactic frequency is calling us to honor the universal waters, the waters that sustain all of life. We all know that our bodies are mostly water, that we live on a water planet, that so, so, so many of the waters on this earth are polluted and toxified, and that so, so, so many people do not have access to clean drinking water nor to adequate sanitation. This is a absolute heartbreaking crisis that we all face as a humanity in these times. So I wanna take this opportunity to invite you to check out this incredible organization that I found if you wanna learn how you can directly be part of the solution of this global water crisis, please check out waterforpeople.org. I have the link below and they're just amazing, inspiring of what they are doing to help bring this situation to a sustainable balance. So we also all know that the universal waters represent the feminine force of nature, embody the feminine spirit, the feminine presence. We know that the, all of us have masculine and feminine energies inside of us and that our culture and our world is gravely out of balance because we need to bring the feminine qualities, the feminine essence, the feminine presence to the forefront to bring balance internally and externally. So wishing you all a magnificent red self-existing moon year. May we all be guided to align with these waves of purification that we may experience greater health and well-being to show up for life. May we be guided how to experience greater 
coherency and clarity and a grounded foundation in our lives so that we can serve at a higher level and help uplift this world. In Lakesh, I am another yourself. Feel free to check out my website to learn more about the galactic calendar, 13moon.com. Time is art, life is art, love is art.